I have my phone set up just the way I like it. All the programs are configured properly, all the videos and photos are in the right place. But I just got my new Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now the question is, how do I move all of my pictures and video, and most importantly, all of my apps that are set up just the way I like them, from this phone to this phone? Well stick around, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Hi, I'm Orman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad, back to show you how to make technology work for you. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, especially if you're into the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, as I will be posting a lot of Note 9 videos, including tips and tricks, the best way to use Samsung DeX, and a whole bunch about using your new Note 9 with your Gear S3 watch. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss one action-packed episode. Okay, so I have my new Note 9 it is active and it took a couple of minutes it actually was uh, a little weird it this is the first time that i've actually gotten the phone from samsung so it's a verizon based phone but it's actually from samsung and it needed to make sure that it was really me that it got delivered to so it was asking things like my social security number so in any event if you ever get your phone from samsung just be prepared that it's going to be a little weird when you set it up but that's okay so now we're gonna go into, we've loaded Samsung Smart Switch on both phones. It actually came on the Note 9 already. If you don't have it, you can go to the Galaxy Store on your phone. And let's see if we can, see. that would be in the G's, sir. Thank you, G, 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 there we go. Go to Galaxy Apps, type in either Samsung or Smart or Switch and it will come right up and you can go ahead and load that. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll start it on this phone over here. And then we'll come over to our other phone. Just gonna look for my face or my pattern. Okay, that's fine. And now we're gonna go ahead and start it over here. So we'll swipe up and it will be in the folder for that. And there we go. So we have it up and running on both programs. Now, if you have an iPhone, you have to go to, I'll put the link down the bottom uh, for where you can find the same program for the iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start on both. And it's basically gonna first ask us, you know, do we agree? Cause it's gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and say agree to both of those. We'll hit next and next. Okay, and then it asks us how we're going to do it. Now, it basically says it, we can use our USB cable, which is what we're going to use. We can do it wirelessly from one unit to the other. We would die before that finishes doing that way. If you have a lot of apps and a lot of data, this is going to take forever. You already have the cable, so just go ahead and use the cable. But if for some reason you didn't have the cable, for example, you're trying to go from your iPhone to this and you, you don't have the cable for it, that's fine. And this is uh, for your external storage, where it's gonna take your external storage and put it that way. We're gonna deal with that later. We're gonna just basically say USB cable. So now it basically says on the Note 9, we're gonna plug that little adapter, that's what it's telling us, plug the little adapter into the cable that they gave us and plug that into the Note 9, okay? And then it says bring the other cable over and plug that into, in this case, our S8 Plus. Okay, we have done both of those. So now it asks us, is this the sending or receiving? And this phone is going to be the receiver. So now it comes over and says, hey, is it okay if you, we use this? We're gonna go ahead and hit allow. And that should figure it out in a second says connecting to the phone and now you see it says connected to note 9 and this one says searching my s8 plus for all of my stuff obviously the dim is set on a few seconds so every few seconds it goes down so this one is okay because this is the one that's going to be 
where we're starting from and this is where we're going to. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. You don't need to see the cable as much as you can see the screen. It's, gonna, it's basically scanning all of the media, all of my files, all of my apps, all of my pieces. And here we go. It says uh, estimated total size is 11 gigs. So that's fine. And you'll see all of the different things. It says, hey, it's going to move over my contacts, my messages, my calendar, my it, it, basically everything. So if there was something I didn't want to move, if there was some program I didn't want to move. So for example, you see it has some recordings here and some documents. I am going to move those. Oh, actually, uh, it's trying to move them from my SD card. I'm going to do my SD card separately because I have a 256 gig card which Samsung very nicely gave uh, Note 7 people before. So I have that in here, I'm sorry, I have that in my essay and I'm going to move manually move that over so I don't want it to move all of that data uh, through the cable. I will eventually copy it but it's, it's going to be quicker to copy it from the, put the SD card into the Note 9 and then copy it off the Note 9 rather than go through the cable because there's quite a bit there. As you can see I have 176 gigs of video alone on that. So we're going to leave those all unchecked. We got everything else. We're going to go hit transfer. It's going to say prepare. While we're waiting, somebody sent me an email and said, why do this method rather than just start from scratch and do a restore? Doesn't Google do a restore? They actually do do a restore. They will put the apps back on and they will put on the uh, some of the settings, but for many of them, you're going to have to go through and reset up. So if you, it'll copy over email, but you're going to have to go back in and set up your email accounts. So this is a much cleaner, easier method. You load the two pieces of software on there, you hit start, and it does 90% of the heavy lifting for you. So after about 10 or 15 minutes, it's moved over all of the pictures and all of those pieces. And now what it's going to do is it has to finish loading on all of the apps uh, that I have. So it's actually, it looks like it's going pretty quick, but it's going to take quite some time. It does say that I can now disconnect the USB cable. And you want to do that because while the USB cable is plugged into your old phone, it's actually... Uh, powering your old phone so it's draining the battery as you can see already my always on display is already set up uh, I don't know about my desktop yet but that's okay and it says okay it says it's done almost everything that it needs to do and it says just go ahead and click on either more features or close the apps I'm gonna go ahead and say on more features it says we'll leave the screen layout as it is. We're going to say go ahead and close the apps. And now, again, as I said, it gives you the impression that it's done, but it's not done. As you can see, it says installing apps. And you can see it says it's on six of 165 apps. So this is going to take some time for it to catch up. As you can see, what it's done now is the apps that have already been downloaded are full color and the other ones are grayed out right now so that I know I can't use those just then. So that's actually pretty good. So we'll go ahead and give this a few more minutes and then we'll come back and see what's going on. So it's all finished. Uh, it took about an hour or so and there were a couple of programs that I had to log into, but all of my configurations were there. So I gotta say, I, two thumbs up, I am 100% sold on Samsung Switch. This is the easiest migration I've gone from one phone to the other. As I've said in the past, I just try to load it on one program at a time and that would have taken forever. So uh, I had a friend of mine that actually tried it with an iPhone and they said it was fine. Again, on an iPhone, it's not going to be able to move the program programs over because they're different programs, but it did say, hey, this program on the iPhone is similar to this program on the Android, and he said 90% of, of the suggestions that they made were fantastic suggestions. So that's it for this edition. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 3,000 users by the end of this month, and you can help, and it really means a lot to me. Button's right down there in the bottom of the screen. Until the next time, this is the High Tech Nomad signing out.